It is Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. I have an extremely busy week and a whole lot of work to do, including a video that I'm filming for GameStop, which should be out at the time of which this is out. And I'm actually on my way to go film a segment for it right now. You want to put that towards a pre-order today. All right, so now I'm back home and I have to edit this video by Friday, for Friday. Uh, it's due, actually no, that's not true, it's due Thursday and it's going up Friday, because Friday is National Pizza Day. The only national day that's worth celebrating. Time is now 4.51. My day for working, oh, this isn't on, is it? No, it is. My work for the day has come to a close. I'm done working, I'm gonna eat pizza, and I wanna try and play some Apex Legends. Which I actually kinda like. A bit. It's Wednesday morning, which is usually a day that I would be releasing a video, but I announced this week that I'm taking a step back and I'm only going, and I'm going back to posting one video a week every Friday. It feels a little weird. I mean, I've been doing it for a few months to a week. And a big reason as to why I'm doing that isn't necessarily because I can't handle doing two a week. If anything, it's actually, I have to stop myself sometimes from doing more than I need to. But essentially, the reason why I pulled back is because there's other projects and stuff that I really wanna do that I've been orchestrating in the background for a while. And I feel like they weren't or haven't been getting as much time and attention as I could if I were to take a step back from doing two videos on YouTube a week and start putting some time into those projects, which is still way too early for me to talk or elaborate on. So just know that when the time comes, it will reveal itself and that I'm excited about it. But we'll see, I don't wanna to speak too soon. I also have a shooting, a filming that I need to go to. This is a camera, this is a real camera. I have a filming that I need to go to in about an hour and a half. I need to go make sure I have everything ready for it and Maybe in the meantime, finish a blog that I started and couldn't finish. Yeah. What the fuck? You see this? Ow. I'm actually having the most unbelievably difficult time concentrating on my work. So I decided to take a nap and now I'm just like done for the day. So I figured if I can't get myself to work that I would at least try and do some other work that maybe doesn't require some sort of attention. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and I'm going to either A, attempt starting to read this book, which is Reality is Broken by Jane McGonagall. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for years and just haven't gotten around to it. And then it was brought up in my Discord chat. Um, so then I immediately was like, I want to read that book. Still fucking like this motherfucker. So yesterday when I was like, had hit that wave of exhaustion, I don't necessarily think that was actually tiredness. I think I'm coming to terms that I'm actually sick. Patience to get sick. 
Fuck, getting sick. But I must adapt to what the forces of the universe have bestowed upon me, so I'm sick. I accept that now. Since this video is kind of just like a meandering thing of my week and decline of my health, let's at least end it with some questions from the community. Yomo Sokomo asks, do you like fighting games? Such a simple question. Yes, I love fighting games. Tekken, Tekken is like my heart and soul. Not a big Street Fighter person though. Not only am I just really bad at it, it just ain't, it just doesn't resonate with me. Deal Tausev asks, what kind of music do you listen to besides the Skyrim soundtrack? Well, that's all I listen to, obviously. Unlike games or movies, I think music is one of the hardest things that I can talk about or relate to, because music, with books and movies and games, they often follow a story that we as viewers can empathize or relate with or learn something from in some way. When music is, when I feel like music literally resonates uh, with people in different ways and have different effects on different things. Ones that consistently, that I listen to a lot is one of his named Mosquito or Mosquito. She's like a Japanese kind of minimalistic electronic artist and I just adore her so much. She inspires me tremendously. Nils Fram, who's kind of a, like a contemporary piano player. I listen to his work when I'm writing. It's helped me a lot. I love the band Future Islands. They're probably one of my favorite modern bands. Ange WK is practically my lord and savior. Danny Brown, I love Danny Brown. There's there's a lot. There's I listen. There's we all listen to a lot of music, but it, it ranges quite a bit, and I have a hard time trying to talk to people about it. I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna go rest and edit this. So maybe it's not resting, but I like editing, so I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna go rest. I'm not gonna work. We'll see. Thank you for watching this. Keep snapping those fingers. Keep doing high kicks. I'm Kurt and Davina. Goodbye.